salvation you deserve. Uh, a very big thank you for saving my soul. You deserve uh, a very big thank you. All that's within me, Lord. Oh, I magnify your name. Oh, you saved my soul. You saved my soul. You freed me, Lord, from sin. I From my heart I say you deserve A very big thank you Jesus oh, You alone deserve 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 A very big thank you A very very big thank you A very big thank you Praise the name of the Lord. Just bless the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody, just open your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. Most of the times we're so busy complaining, so busy not seeing what God has done. I give God praise tonight. And I thank God for your life, wherever you are, at the sound of my voice. I just praise God for your life. I just celebrate Jesus because you are alive, you're here, an opportunity to make things right, an opportunity to put things right with God, an opportunity to free your soul from the coming wrath of God. It's a gift of God to be alive. That's why I say you deserve a very big thank you, Jesus. runs into it and they are saved. It is a platform where we proclaim the name of the Lord. It is a platform where we exalt the name of Jesus. It is a platform where nobody is like my God. You are at the right place at the right time with the right people in the name of Jesus. I don't know what has really pulled you here tonight but I know one thing that those who are led by the Spirit of God they are the sons of God. I said you are at the right place at the right time with the right people on the right platform and because of that you are rested not to live here the same you cannot leave here the same you cannot remain the same i welcome you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ it is a platform where we campaign for jesus it is a platform where we boast in no other name but the name of jesus it is a place where we exalt the name of the Lord Jesus. Tonight, if you're here, I just want to welcome you in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit once again. You must understand that I don't take your presence here for granted. And I know that the Spirit of God is here. The power of the living God is here. And 
because of that, none of us will live here the same. Once again, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are saved. today just open your mouth and say thank you Jesus for your children to be alive today open your mouth and say thank you Jesus with all the errors all the mistakes all the sins the Lord has kept you say thank you Jesus there are many lives in the funeral homes there are many lives in the graveyard but tonight we have been liberated by the grace of God I said open your mouth and say thank you Jesus we're not here because we are righteous we're not here because we're too good this is the grace of God. I give God praise. I give God honor. I give God all the adoration. I don't know about you, but my heart is filled with gratitude. Tonight, after returning from work, I I was just led, just as I'm always led to come. And then I, I was thinking about what to tell the people of God and prepared something but the moment I came to stand behind the keyboard after setting everything up a very big thing you know the song just began to sing in me and normally when a song comes another song will come and another song will come but even as I'm talking to you the same song keeps singing in my spirit Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, tonight we give you praise. We honor you because you are God and you are good. We thank you for the blood that you shed on Mount Calvary for us. We thank you for the price that you paid on that cross that day. We thank you for our salvation. We thank you for our liberation. We thank you for our spiritual set free. Sunday says, my soul escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. For the snare has been broken and I have escaped. For my help is in the name of the Lord Jesus. Tonight, Daddy, we say our help is in your name. Therefore, we give you praise, we give you worship, we give you honor, we give you adoration. We say receive it all, Jesus. Tonight, we bow before your throne of grace with the angels tonight. And we say thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for setting our souls free. Thank you for saving our souls. Thank you for writing our names in the book of life. Thank you for directing us into the narrow road. Thank you, Jesus. Without your grace, we would not have been here. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus. And Father, even as you said I would do, tonight I want us to commit there are some underground Christians some of them are in Saudi Arabia some of them are in China some of them are in Dubai some of them are in Lebanon some of them are in Iran some of them are in Iraq beloved the Bible that you and I have received it and we take it for granted there are people who hide and read the Bible. There are people who hide and gather to pray. There are people who are not allowed to mention the name of Jesus. But you and I tonight, by the grace of God, we're able to call on the name of the Lord for free. Tonight, I want you to lift up your hands wherever you are. And I want you to say a little prayer for the underground Christians. 
There are many Christians who hide underground to study the Bible. As for you and I, we have been given the grace to get up, go out there, and evangelize to somebody. Even so, we are so ashamed. But there are people who don't have that opportunity. Some of them are in these Islamic countries where some of them are being murdered. Some of them are being killed just because they mentioned the name of Jesus. Tonight, I want us to just say a little prayer for them. That the Lord will preserve them. That the Lord will empower them. That the Lord will equip them. That the Lord will increase their faith. Increase their faith. Help them to stand to the end, Lord. And Father, pray in the name of Jesus. If somebody has been captured because they mentioned your name, Jesus. If somebody is about to be hung because they mentioned your name, Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Just as you liberated Peter, Lord. Tonight, liberate somebody in the name of Jesus. Just as you set the disciples free, Lord. Tonight, I pray in the name of Jesus, wherever they are. That you send your angels to release and open every door that has been shut. Those who are in prison cells because they're called on the name of Jesus. Those who have been bound just because they evangelize to somebody. We pray in the name of Jesus. That we pray that your mercy will abound in their lives, Lord. We pray that you will empower them, oh God. Give them the grace, my Lord. To stand in spirit and in truth. Do not let the challenges of this world overwhelm them, Lord. Empower them to live for you. Empower them, Daddy, to stand for you. Empower them in every way, Lord. And Daddy, provide for them. Financially, financially, physically. Mentally, psychologically, emotionally. Let it be their God. This is what we pray in the name that is above every other name. Even in the name of Jesus. Beloved, it's okay to say amen. I said it's not a crime to say amen. It is biblical. The Bible says we should intercede for one another. It dawned on me today that I have not prayed for them. And as I was talking, the Spirit of God reminded me again that we pray for them. That is why we did what we did. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to say a very big thank you. Scream and say uh, a very big thank you, Lord. I just wanna say a very big thank you, oh God. Lord, I say yeah, a very big thank you. Jesus, thank you, Lord. A very big thank you. Daddy, thank you, oh, a very big thank you, uh, thank you, uh, a very big thank you, uh, I just want to say uh, a very big thank you. Beloved, with all that we're doing, with all that we're saying, I'm going out and I'm coming in, Meeting with loved ones, running to work, busy acquiring things that physically are important but spiritually have no values. As we walk daily in this sojourn place called earth, in this foreign land called earth, as we go to and fro, 
Some of us work in the name of the Lord. Some of us are ushers. Some of us are choristers. Some of us are pastors. Some of us are bishops. Some of us are archbishops. Some of us say we are prophets. Some of us say we are evangelists. Some of us are calling themselves cardinal. Some of them say they are doctors. Every accolade that perhaps you've purchased or you've given yourself or you've been ordained by men or you've been projected by men, there is one thing that, beloved, you and I, we must daily ask ourselves. That if the trumpet sound tonight, if the trumpet of the Lord will sound right now, if Jesus will appear to come for the righteous, will we be part of them? Perhaps somebody says, I'm an intercessor. Somebody saying that I'm the one that puts the church together in church. Somebody saying that I sweep the church. Somebody saying that when nobody is watching, I go on my knees and intercede for the church. It's all good. But there's a question at hand that the Lord Jesus is asking all of us. That if the trumpet should sound, if the trumpet should sound, if the alarms will sound, if the last trumpet will sound, will we be among the righteous? Perhaps you preach the word of God undiluted. Perhaps everywhere you go, you are recognized. Perhaps the whole world, everybody knows who you are. Perhaps everybody calls you mama, papa, woman of God, boy of God, girl of God. Perhaps people know you best at what you write on your profile because they are godly. But if the trumpet should sound, my friend, if the trumpet should sound, my beloved, if the trumpet should sound, my brother, if the trumpet should sound, my sister, if the trumpet should sound, pastor, if the trumpet should sound prophet, if the trumpet should sound man of God, if the trumpet should sound evangelist, if the trumpet should sound, where will you be? Where will I be? Some of us have lost our jobs because of the work of God. Some of us have lost our marriages because of the work of God. Some of us have lost great things that the Lord gave us because of our passion for the work of God. Many people don't even know what to do anymore because of the work of God. Some of us feel restless daily because of the mandate upon your life. Perhaps you go across the world and everybody knows that you are a soul winner. But I came to ask you and I that have we managed to win our souls for the Lord? Oh, soul winner, oh, beloved soul winner. As you're winning souls, have you become a signboard? Or you are saving your own soul for the coming wrath of God? Beloved of God, I come in the name of the Lord Jesus tonight. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus tonight. Perhaps in your church you know they call you a deacon. Perhaps in your church you are a pastor's wife when you come, the women shiver. Perhaps you are an elder when you come, people get up from their chairs. Oh, beloved, but do heaven knows you as an elder? Does heaven knows you as an artist? Does, an, does heaven knows you as a pastor? Is your name written in the book of life? I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Beloved, everything we are getting and all that we are hungry for, we will leave them all. Everything we are so passionate about and what we are running for, we will leave them all. Today, society has become so carnal, we even kill and destroy just to make a name for ourselves. But there's one thing we have missed and there's one thing we need to ask ourselves. That even as we speak the word of God, even as we speak the word of God, have we made things right with the Lord? Does heaven see us and recognize us? Everybody knows one soul a night. One soul a night is everywhere. But the Lord is asking us all tonight. That is heaven recognizing 
one soul at night. That the ways pleases the Lord. What we are doing before men is it said we do in secret. Or we have secret sins that we do that no man knows. Beloved, have we forgotten that the Lord sees everything? Even the very thoughts he knows. Nothing is hidden from the Lord Jesus tonight. I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Are you washed by the blood of the Lamb? Are you truly saved? You are very busy but guilty. I said you are very busy but guilty. We are busy pleasing men but have forgotten to please the Lord. We are busy building castles, but we don't have mansions in heaven. We are very busy building mansions on this earth. We are very busy building castles on this earth. We are very busy building buildings that are occupied by unrepentant people. All in the name of the Lord because of our personal gain. My brother in the Lord, I came to ask you tonight. Does heaven recognize you and what you're doing in the name of the Lord? Is your name written in the book of life? Does heaven hear your name and rejoice? Or heaven hears your name and cry? Does heaven hear your name and rejoice? Or the angels hear your name and the Holy Spirit reminds you to repent? Are we truly washed by the blood of Jesus? truly washed by the blood of Jesus? Are we truly pleasing God or are we truly pleasing man? Perhaps you are very busy each and every day. You are studying. You are very busy acquiring wealth all over. You are very busy fasting, my friend. But what is your motive of that fasting? What is your motive of that fasting? Beloved, I've come to understand that many people even fast so that they'll get power. So that everybody will know that they have arrived. We don't even fast just because we want to know God more. Just because we're bringing our body under the subjection of the Holy Spirit. We don't even fast because we want our soul, our spirit to increase. And that the body, the fleshly desires would decrease. Our motives are so wrong before the Lord. So we are busy pleasing men, I service. Many people go to fast and go on waiting just so people will know that they also pray. Many people go hiding so people will think they pray. Many people call on the name of the Lord because everybody is calling on the name of the Lord. Many people go and sit at church just because they want to be there. So pastor will not ask them why they need to come to church. Many people proclaim they know Jesus, but they have lost the power thereof. Beloved, I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I come to you by the message of the Lord Jesus. Is your name written in the book of life? Is your name written in the book of life? With all you are doing, is your name written in the book of life? Does heaven hear your name and rejoice, or they hear your name and remind you to repent? Does the Lord hear you and rejoice, or he hears your name and hide? Oh, Jesus, help your people, my Lord. It won't be long. The curtains will come to a close. It will not be long. The day is coming that will stand before this man, Jesus, that we proclaim we know. A day is coming that we will give an account of everything we did. Day is coming that the books will be open. A day is coming that the man you use your name, his name to worship the Lord, 
The man you use his name to preach will say, Get away from me, thou worker of iniquity. Beloved, this is the right time for us to repent. This is the right time to make things right with the Lord Jesus. It is the right time to part from the things of the world. It is the right time to run away from the coming wrath of God. It is the right time to run for your soul. Somebody 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 run for your soul. On Friday, I had the opportunity to go and bury my auntie. When I when we were at the church, the coffin was there. Everybody came to say what will make people feel good. And I was sitting down quietly and a lot of questions were running through my mind. said to myself this is what they are saying what is God saying the curtain had come to a close for her her rapture had come her rapture had come was standing there, stood there quietly and I was listening but my mind was thinking it felt like I was there but I was not there because I could see the coffin and I could see the Ghana Kente on the coffin and I could see people wailing and crying I ask myself one thing is heaven rejoicing or heaven has lost another soul beloved so far as we have life we have hope now that you can talk and breathe and walk make things right with the Lord in your secret place make sure you have peace with God so that on the day that you die, people will not lie for you. Make sure that people will say things that are true. May the Lord help us, my Lord Jesus. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. That we will repent. We will repent and return back to Jesus. This is a lady I thought was giving, I even thought she was giving two months. Little did I know that she was giving two weeks to leave. She had lived indeed. But her works were going ahead of her. We went to the funeral. We went to the cemetery. And I realized this was my very first time of really going to a cemetery. Watch it on telly. I watch it on YouTube. But it was the first time that I stood where sand was being poured on a coffin. Where a coffin was being placed on the ground. And I asked myself, to me if I do not live for God. Woe is me if I don't fear God. Woe is me if I love the things of the world and I don't love Jesus. Woe is me if I live comfortably on this earth but I have no relationship with the Lord. Because the end of man is in the grave. All that we look for, all that we buy, the buildings that we build, 
Look at how we waste our strength to save money to go and build mansions that sometimes people will not sleep in. People have bought lands that their feet will never step on those lands. People will kill in a dispensation just to get a house that they never went for. Somebody can murder their own mother just to buy a four by four. Oh, fully generation without the fear of God, a generation that is perverted, a generation that has no future. Look at this generation. A generation who profess to know Christ, but we don't know him. We don't have revelation. We don't have a relationship with him. A generation who profess that we've been born again, yet everything we do displeases the one who created us. A generation who goes to church thinking we are serving God, but everything he wants us to abide by, we refuse. Oh, fully generation, we waste our time to seek things that do not matter. We waste our time to go and sit under the feet of a man of God who is literally taking us to hell. Fully generation who will not seek God, but will seek the things of the world. Fully generation who will not seek the provider, but will seek the provision. Oh, fully generation who will do anything to build a church will kill and put a human dead body under an altar. Fully generation. Fully generation who has no fear of God. A generation who are able to sleep with their own children, sleep with their own sons and sleep with their own daughters. Fully generation who have no fear of God. Perverted yet we call the name of the Lord. A generation who have no fear of God. A generation who has no sense of living. A generation who have di diverted from the ways of the Lord. A generation who will do anything to prosper yet have no no eternal life. A generation that has raised men of God without the fear of God. A generation who have raised men who are preparing souls to hell and are proud of it. A generation who have gathered themselves false men of God, false prophets, false bishops, false archbishops. A generation a generation who will not seek God. But the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, Mama. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Beloved, seek ye first the kingdom of God. I said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Everything else will be added. The word of God is true. Oh, how I wish we have a revelation about the one we say we know. Oh, how I wish we would cry unto the Lord for him to open our eyes to see the things he detests. Oh, how I pray that somebody will have a revelation of who God is. Because we lack revelation. Because we lack understanding. We have lost our ways before him. That is why we are prepared men of God who can only tell us what we want to hear. We have prepared ourselves with people who will only believe in what we say. But not the word of God. I beseech you by the mercies of God. Every soul at the sound of my voice, I beg of you in the name of Jesus. That we prepare our bodies as a living sacrifice unto the Lord. That we deny ourselves of the worldly things. That we seek God in all we do. That we prioritize this man, Jesus. That we put him first in all we do. 
Beloved, generations will come and go. Whether we believe it or not, death is inevitable. But it's only the righteous who will see the kingdom of God. It is only the righteous who will see the kingdom of God. I did not say self-righteous. I said it's only the righteous who will see the kingdom of God. Beloved, the new Jerusalem is meant for those who have washed their robes in the blood of Jesus. The new Jerusalem is meant for those who have a relationship with the Lord Jesus. An intimate relationship. It is my prayer tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. That we wake up from our slumber. Perhaps you are a man of God, you are a woman of God, you have lost your purpose. You have lost your revelation. Perhaps you are a man of God here, a woman of God you call yourself. But you have lost why you are called. The Lord did not call you a knife for objects. The Lord does not live in objects. He lives in the heart of men. He lives in the heart of those who have sanctified themselves. Deny themselves daily carrying their cross. We need to wake up from our slumber. We need to prepare ourselves to meet the Lord. And you know what shocked me? I did not even know that when they put the coffin down, they wait for further two more coffins before they close it and put that thing. I was sitting, I went, I left there and sat in my car. And I said, what is life? What are we looking for? What are you wasting all your time on, my friend? You will leave them all, don't you know? That none of the people in the grave took anything they loved with them. We stood by the graveyard and we began to sing hymns. They were singing hymns and I was asking myself, has heaven gained a soul or heaven has lost another soul? Has heaven gained a soul or heaven has lost another soul? It is my prayer that we all work on our salvation. I want you to open your Bible. Let's go to Amos chapter 2. Amos chapter 2. Amos chapter 2. Jesus. Amos chapter 2. Trying to find Amos. Amos. Trying to find Amos. I'm not going to spiritualize anything. Praise the Lord.
thereof because they sell the righteous for silver and the poor for a pair of shoes for they sell the righteous for silver and the poor for a pair of shoes today many people go to church but they don't even know that their souls are already sold to the devil. There are some church buildings you need to pray. Beloved, not some, but every church building you enter, you must pray and ask God. Every church, whether they are popular, whether they are known, whether they are recognized, whether people are talking about their experience, whether people are testifying daily, I said, take time and pray and know where you are heading. Every altar that you go and sit under, make sure that you are led by the Spirit of God. For so say us the word of God, that say us the Lord, for three transgressions of Israel and for four I will not Turn away the punishment thereof. Why? Because they sold the righteous for silver and the poor for a pair of shoes. They will sell you anywhere just to get a pair of shoes, just to buy cars, just to buy mansions, just to do businesses. They themselves have sold their souls already. And what they do is they sell your soul. The places you go. And the moment you are sat under them because you are sat there. Your soul is tied somewhere. May the Lord help us all. May the Lord help us all. And if you're a man of God, you call yourself somebody called by God. Yet you have things that you hide and do midnight. You have altars that you have built with skeletons and bones and dead children. And you've killed pregnant women. Just for your church to be known, for you to be recognized. It is an opportunity for you to repent tonight in the name of Jesus. 
if you call yourself a man of God but yet you are not using the name of the Lord for his gain but for your own personal gain you are wrong you call yourself a man of God yet you are leading many souls to hell you are wrong it is the right time to repent do not be followed be, do not be moved by the pressures of life the pressures in ministry the pressures in society that the friends you started with they're doing well and because they're doing well you must also find all we mean to prosper it's an opportunity for you to repent from tonight it is an opportunity for you to kneel down wherever you are and ask God for mercy because you are wrong because you have erred seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness Papa seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness man of God it does not matter how many places you go and open churches it does not matter how many places you have built churches it does not matter how many people know you and recognize you it does not matter how society hail you my friend if you're not doing it God's way you are wrong if you're not doing it according to the word of God you are wrong if you are leading many souls to hell I said you are wrong I'm not condemning you but I'm rebuking you so you repent and come back to Jesus 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 the calling of God is never a competition He's giving some two, he's giving some four, he's giving some ten. But beloved, it all glorifies God. Perhaps you may be in your little corner, but you have no idea how many souls you have won for the Lord. Somebody may have tens and thousands of people, but you'll be surprised that in heaven probably they've gained only one souls for the Lord. Do not be moved by the presses of life. I know that sometimes people do well and you can see it. Perhaps you've been working all your life since you were called. You have not had the opportunity to sit in a car, but car comes and goes. If only you rely on God at the right time, he will honor you. If only you will obey the word of God and walk in his righteousness. The day is coming that he will honor you. What is it when you gain the whole world and lose your soul? What if you gain the whole world, my brother, and you lose your soul? Pastor, what if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? What if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? You may gain the fame, you may gain the power. You may gain the recognition by men, but does heaven recognize you? It is my prayer that you return back to Jesus. This is one soul a night. It is a program that is not for the masses. It is a program that is meant for those who want to see Jesus. It is a program that will not tell you what you want to hear. It is a program that will tell you what God wants you to hear. Because perhaps you have heard by the Lord needs your soul your soul is very important to God even in your iniquities the Lord still loves you my friend you may have erred so much but the Lord still requires that you repent this is the love of Jesus this is the love of God that is sent his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life this is the love of Jesus that even whilst we were yet sinners, Christ came to die for us. Beloved, this is the love of God. That although you may have fallen, but the righteous will fall seven times, but will rise again. I beseech you by the mercies of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That you return back to the cross. Forgo the pride and arrogance and return back to Christ. Because your soul is very important to God. It is my prayer that the word of God will mean something for somebody.
says the fourth one the Lord will not turn away the punishment thereof because they sold the righteous for silver and the poor for a pair of shoes some of you have committed murder you have killed somebody place that soul under your altar you have killed a pregnant woman your soul is crying will you repent tonight you have killed a virgin destroyed the home sleeping with a lot of married women as it requires Beloved, it's the right time to repent and come to Jesus. For the day is coming. A day is coming. A day is coming that you will not be able to stand the wrath of God. A day is coming that you will not mock God anymore. You may be mocking God because nobody sees you. But the Lord sees you. The Lord requires that you repent tonight in the name of Jesus. The cars, the houses, the lands, the schools, the universities, the 4 by 4s the Range Rovers, the 10 by 10s the mansions, the big auditoriums, they will come and go and the righteous will flourish I said the righteous will flourish I said the righteous will sleep in peace and they will flourish it is my prayer tonight that you return back to Jesus Return back to the cross. Return back to the cross. There is deliverance at the cross of Jesus. There is healing at the cross of Jesus. There is forgiveness through the blood of Jesus. There is an anointing that flows at the cross of Calvary. The love of Jesus is shed abroad. That if any man hears the voice of the Lord and says yes to the master and repents and turns from their wicked ways, he will heal their land. That from tonight, right now, you return back to Jesus. Perhaps they have turned you into gay so your church will flourish. They have made your womanizer so your church will flourish. They have made you a murderer so your church will flourish. But Jesus Christ came to give life and give it more abundantly. I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Repent and come back to Jesus. Repent and come back to Jesus. Repent and come back to Jesus. The Lord is calling you tonight. Calling you into repentance. Calling you into holiness. Calling you to sanctify yourself. Calling you that he can wash you by the blood of Jesus. Will you say yes to the Lord? Perhaps you've done so much that you sit down and you ask yourself, where will I start from? The Lord wants you to say yes. Come back to the cross. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. Jesus is ever forgiving. Jesus is ever
never loving. If a sinner like me, he can forgive. There is no sin too big that he cannot forgive. There is no sin too white that he cannot wipe. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The grace of God is immeasurable. Come back to Jesus. Come back to the Lord God Almighty. He is worthy to save. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Remember, beloved of God, without holiness, none shall see the Lord. Without the holiness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holiness that springs from the grace of God, that springs right from the throne of grace, that springs from the cross of Calvary. The blood that flows right from the cross. May the Lord bless you. I said, may the Lord bless you. I say, may the Lord bless you. I say, may the Lord bless you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are here tonight. You want to give your life to Jesus. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. I want you to just lift up your hands. And let's sing this song. Even as it sings, it's my spirit. It is, it is ministering in my spirit. Unto Jesus I surrender Unto Him I freely give I will ever love And trust in His presence to the Lord and ask for forgiveness you are forgiven in the name of Jesus if only you said it honestly 
you're here, you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to lift up your two hands for me. And let's say this together. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I know I'm a sinner, but I know you came to shed your blood for me. Say, Lord Jesus,
on Thursday, I'm coming all the way to Amsterdam. And by the grace of God, I'm going to this program. I don't know. That's why I'm, 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 I'm opening it on my phone. So you see, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So I'm going to a program. It's a, the church. The name of the church is Clinic of Faith Ministries. And it's, it's um, hosted by Prophet Joanne, Prophetess Joanne Rolefs, the Mr. and Mrs. Rolef. And um, it's going to, I don't, probably, I didn't pronounce it properly, mommy, but uh, I'm coming all the way to Amsterdam. And the program is being held at, um, praise the name of the Lord, it's being held at, I can't even see it properly, but somewhere there in Amsterdam. I think we'll put it out there properly so you know. But coming to Amsterdam, the name of the church is Clinic of Faith Ministries. If you are closer to that place, you can come and let's worship the Lord together. Um, I'll be at the, 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 the Clinic of Faith Ministries. I'll be there on Thursday and Friday. Thursday, the 25th and Friday, um, the, what is this called? Uh, the And Friday, the... Yes, it is my prayer that if you can, 25th, 26th, it is my prayer that if you can, let's come over, let's worship God together, let's give God praise, let's discuss about Jesus, um, and your life will never be the same in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right, I'm coming to Amsterdam. Aha, I'm coming to Amsterdam. And if you're anywhere closer there, I think we will, I'll put the plane, uh, the, the one that you can see better, it should be on the page, or if you go to Esther Sephora, you will see it over there. Just look at it properly, and um, I don't even know where, so don't ask me how do I get there. I'm going to Amsterdam, I'll get there, and by the grace of God, 25th night, I'll be in Amsterdam, Holland, Holland, Amsterdam, and we'll minister. Um, you'll see us there live by the grace of God. Um, if the Lord tarries on Thursday, I'll be in Amsterdam. Rot is it Rotterdam, Amsterdam? I don't know the difference. I'm, I'm coming to Amsterdam, Holland. <laughs> and by the grace of God, I know the Spirit of God will speak to the people of God. And as always, prepare the people for His coming. Keep us in your prayers that the Spirit of God will never leave us, that the presence of God will forever dwell upon the people of God. So we will speak nothing but the truth. We will not please the people, but we will speak life and truth to the people. So perhaps at this one soul will be saved. It is my prayer that you will be blessed. I'm coming on Thursday. If you're close, I just come over and God will bless you. And most importantly, I can't wait to see you. Please, if you come, come and say hello. I'm not scary. You know, people say that I'm scary. I'm not scary. I'm not scary. I'm very cool, down to earth. What you see is this is Esther Sephora. Uh, I'm not a celebrity, I'm nobody. I'm just saved by the grace of God and I walk in the grace of God. So when you see me at the program, do not be shy to approach me. And if, if perhaps I'm talking to somebody and you're waiting, don't ever feel intimidated. Praise the name of the Lord. Wherever you see me, just come over. You know, I'm, I'm really not scared of anything. Um, so come on over and, and I will hug and greet you in the name of the Lord. I'm not above any of you. This is the grace of God. And um, I pray that lives will be transformed. Your life will never remain the same. From there, I'll go to America. I'm going to New York from the 10th to, I think, 15th. I'm going to do a project by the grace of God. And I know the Spirit of God will direct us what to do. Um, keep us in your prayers. I'll be in New York, Connecticut. Uh, is it Connecticut? Orange, somewhere there. Again, don't ask me. <laughs> when I get there, I'll do live so you know where it is. The moment I get to the place, I'll do a little live whilst I'm in my hotel. So you know that this is the place I'm coming to. So you, you'll be directed there. I can't, I can't wait. I'm excited. So I'll come to New York very soon. I think on the 10th, I'm in New York. And then by the grace of God, on the 16th, I'll be in Ghana, West Africa, and preparing for the 24th, 25th, 26th program. 
one soul at night crusade live in Accra circle the crusade is coming on live I pray that you will make time make it a date with the Lord come and let's bless God together as I said do not be intimidated do not be shy I don't have um, let me say I don't have a security guard or anything wherever I go I walk like everyone else and I'm very approachable forget about this one this when you see me covering my head I don't worry I'm very approachable you know you can approach me and we'll talk briefly may the Lord bless you and most importantly I want to say thank you to some of you who are supporting the work of God some of you are sending us finances, 40, 50, 100, 400, 300, 500 dollars. A lot of you are really supporting One Soul and Night Crusade. You have made me realize that when God asks you to do something, it says, I'll call you, Rachel, Sister Ruth. When God calls you to do something, praise the Lord. When God calls you to do something, if only you say yes to the Lord, he will honor his name. And I give God praise for what he's doing, what he's doing, what he has done is amazing. My testimony is beyond measure. I'm so grateful for what God is doing. Very soon I'll be coming to Nigeria. Don't worry. Uh, where are you coming to Nigeria? No, I'm coming to Ghana. I'll come to Nigeria by the grace of God very soon. Uh, I know I'll come to Nigeria. I can't wait. Praise the Lord. I'm coming to Connecticut. That's right. And gradually we're coming. I'll come to Liberia also. I'm telling you, I'm coming out by the grace of God so that we share the mysteries about the kingdom of God, the good news that Jesus still saves, that walking on the narrow road is doable by the help of the Holy Spirit. You can walk on this earth and live for God by the help of the Holy Spirit. This is our mission, preparing the souls for the coming of Christ and preparing the youth to stand and be on fire for the Lord. It is our prayer that the Spirit of God will keep leading and directing us and that the Spirit of God will keep favoring us so that the name of the Lord will be magnified. We'll come to Liberia. Liberia, you know, I love Liberians. Most of my, my followers are Liberians, Nigerians, some Venezuela. I have people who send me messages from Venezuela from from um from uh, somalia from kuwait from sudan you know from some countries that i've never even heard of before people send me messages from india a whole lot of places i give god praise this is the work of god it glorifies god but you must know one thing that i'm a mere man i walk in the grace of god and the God that I'm serving, the God that is in the word of God, the God of Esther, the same God, the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac, is the same God we call him. So if Esther Sapphira calls on the name of the Lord and he hears, always know that you will call on the name of the Lord as a righteous person. If only you have a right standing with God, you call on the name of the Lord and he will hear you. If only you repent, you will call on the name of the Lord and he will hear you. He will answer you in the name of Jesus. Beloved, we must always remember that without holiness, none of us shall please the Lord and we will not see him. We must please him, walking in the righteousness of God, always living in accordance with the word of God by the help of the Holy Spirit, not because of self-righteousness, but because the Spirit of God is helping us. This is my prayer for you. I thank God for your life. Can you see my Ghana clothes now? There's so many lots of Ghana clothes. I love them. They're very, very nice. And I thank God. May the Lord bless this seamstress. Beautiful stuff. I love them so much. I bless God for your life. Exactly, Malawi. You know, people send me messages from Germany, Malawi. You know, Sister Mary, God bless you. Uh, God bless you. Yes, you can. You know, and uh, uh, Papa Aaron, Evangelist Aaron. Yes, I'll come to Manchester. Uh, when I return, you come and then we do another life. Walking on the now that's it, sister Esther. Walking on the narrow road is not easy. You know, always remember you'll be mocked, you'll be laughed at, you'll be insulted, you'll be teased. But even Jesus went through that. So you need to have a thick skin. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. And ask the Holy Spirit that you want to walk in the ways of the Lord. Please do not conform to the things of the world. Even among throngs of people, make sure that you are separated. 
you are separated that when the rapture should come now you will make it if nobody will make it you will make it may the lord bless you keep supporting us in prayer finances keep supporting us because you have no idea how many souls you're saving and also know that many people you know if i say this people begin to don't don't when we begin to send people finances because they are in crisis don't use that you know some of you have no fear of god and and as coming and scam us to take money i'm telling you whatever we do in the name of the lord the lord will bless us but make sure you don't carry any cases along praise the lord the work we're doing is serious this is about souls and this is very very serious the little we can we do it to the glory of god you need to support us any way you can keep us in your prayers may the lord bless you i i, I there are many people supporting me and sometimes I sit down and I say, Lord, please bless these people. Open doors for them. Remember them. Take away every shame. Take away every disgrace. Take away every confusion. I just sit down and I pray. I don't pray long prayers and pray, no. But from my heart, I just say, Lord, bless them. Open those doors. Cause your face to shine on them. Give them a revelation of who you are. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you so much. Praise the Lord. My life is no longer the same. We give God praise, Sister Jennifer. Mama Jennifer, we give God praise. Keep on keeping on. It's not easy. Every day the Lord is transforming and changing us. And this is not our strength. This is the grace of God. We need to keep relying on the Holy Spirit. And the day that we meet the Lord Jesus, we will definitely be like him. May the Lord bless you real good. I'm Mr. Sephora, one soul a night where Jesus is exalted, where the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are saved. Hold on to your faith. Be prayerful. Do not be overcome or be overwhelmed by the things of this world. Everything we see is temporal. Let your focus be on Christ. Sister Ramatu, God bless you. You're coming to Ghana with us. I can't wait to see you and meet you in Ghana and hug you and thank you in person. Sister Ramatu is coming to Ghana. She's purchased a ticket, I think, and coming to Ghana from the United States to Ghana with me for one soul a night. This is God. We give God praise. I'm going to go waiting and stuff with her. I can't wait. We're going to do a lot of evangelism. And I look forward to seeing you, Sister Ramatu. May the Lord bless you so much, people of God. Keep on keeping on. Tonight, they're meeting to pray. I will come over there. Come to the prayer meeting. Come, let's pray. Keep praying. Anytime you go on your knees, remember me in your prayer. The more we keep going, the more we face challenges. But the Lord is our strength. When you go on your knees, remember me in your prayers. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. I love you in the love of Jesus. And there's nothing you can do about it. Ciao. God bless you. Good night. God bless you. I'm from Ghana. My parents are from Ghana. It's one soul. Not much more, Lord. Say one so tonight, just one so Lord. We're asking not much more, Lord. Daddy, save one so, save one so tonight, just one so Lord. Yeah. Save 
one soul Save one soul tonight Oh, and I, I, I'm asking not much more, Lord Daddy, save one soul Daddy, save one soul tonight Oh, save one soul tonight one soul tonight Daddy, one soul tonight Save one soul tonight Oh, one soul, Lord Yeah, just one soul ah, Daddy, save one soul Daddy, save one soul tonight Just one soul, Lord I'm asking not much more Oh, save one soul Save one soul tonight One soul, Lord I'm asking not much more uh -huh. Oh, save one soul Daddy, save one soul tonight Save one soul tonight Save one soul tonight I'll come alive tomorrow One soul tonight Save one soul tonight I'm coming alive tomorrow Oh, one soul Daddy, save one soul tonight Oh, one soul, Lord Daddy, save one soul Just one soul, Lord I'm asking not much more Save one soul Save one soul tonight Just one soul, Lord I'm asking not much more, Lord Save one soul Daddy, save one soul tonight God bless you. God bless you, Sister Helen. God bless you. Oh, Chichi. God bless you. Modese. God bless you. Angela. God bless you, Austin. God bless you, Evie. God bless you, Belinda. God bless you, Linda. God bless you all. Sister Romantu, God bless you. God bless you, Mama Shalane. Shella. God bless you, Sister Portia. God bless you, Sister Jennifer. God bless you, Mwalumushi. God bless you. 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 Monorain. God bless you. I can't pronounce some of the names. Forgive me. Eh? God bless you. I want you to know that if you haven't pronounced, uh, mentioned your name. Mommy's girl, God bless you. Sister Jean, God bless you. Sister Ruth, God bless you. 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 The word of truth. God bless you beyond measure. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Glory. God bless you. God bless you all. Have a good night. Be prayerful. Sister Tanya, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Jerry Lane. Jerry Lane. God bless you. 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 Again. Is it Eden? God bless you. Brother Yank. God bless you so much. I can see you every day. The Lord honor you. The Lord lay a table before you, even in the presence of your enemies. The Lord anoint your head with oil. Brother Yank. This is Jake. God bless you. God bless you, 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 heavens rejoice, Sister Anita, God bless you, God bless you, Sister Irene, God bless you, God bless you, Debanson, God bless you, Sister Mavis, God bless you, Jovita, God bless you, Debanson again, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, I can't thank God for you enough. 
many lives have been transformed because you shared. I'm so grateful to God because I've met you. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you all. Muriel, God bless you. Sister Muriel, God bless you. Angel, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hotus, God bless you. Angeline, God, God bless you. 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 Julie, Sister Julie, God bless you. 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 Hey, Sister Winnie, God bless you. Mama Marcia, God bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Rita Ekata, God bless you, bro. I know it's not your wife, it's you. God bless you. If it's your wife as well, God bless the family. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you so much. I cannot thank you enough. I mean it. From the very depths of my heart, I say thank you and God bless you. Senda, God bless you so much. Brother Obi, God bless you. Sister Vivian, I'm so grateful to you. God bless you. You have no idea. God bless you. God bless you. One soul at night is everywhere. The kingdom of darkness shake when one soul and I come alive. Sister Stella, God bless you. It's because you shared. God bless you. Governor favor. Govern favor. I can't pronounce your name, but something. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much. Many lives have been transformed. The day we get to heaven, we'll see the work the Lord did through us. This is the grace of God. And Nicole, God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you, Sister Timmy. God bless you. Or oh, is it Timmy? Oh, no, no. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Amy. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Gwenny, God bless you. God bless you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sister Regina, you are blessed and highly favored. Ah, God bless you, Sister Mary. I bless God for your life. The Lord bless you. God bless you, Sister Charlotte. The Lord bless you real good. The Lord bless you real good. Jerry God bless you. May the Lord 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 bless you. Sister Ruth. Mashtu. God bless you. 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 The Lord bless you. Sister Nelly, God bless your brother Nelly. God bless you. God bless you so much. Sister Harriet, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you beyond your understanding. May the Lord blow your mind with blessings, Sister Emma. Mm, may the Lord bless you real good. Sister Timey, God bless you. Have a good night. Have a good one. God bless you. Without holiness, none shall see the Lord. Hallelujah. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Nana. Nana Yana. God bless you. D. God bless you. Lee. Bless. God bless you. Naomi. Naomi. God bless you. Sister Naomi Asari. God bless you. Sister Mercy. God bless you. 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 God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Sarita, you're blessed and highly favored. May the Lord bless you. Sister Mary, bye-bye, God bless you. Sister Marian, Amponsa, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sister Agatha, God bless you.
bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. The reason I live is to worship you. Jesus.